grief, Aunt B. Freddy? Freddy Warrington? Oh, I didn't expect to find you here. What did you expect to find, Aunt B? Well, I heard there was a stamp dealer here, and as I thought of selling my collection... Mm, pretty bulky one. May I have a deco? Well, no, I changed my mind. Ah, uh, well, this is a nice surprise. Uh, give my kind regards to your dear father. Uh, uh, he's well, I hope. He's flourishing, thanks. The door's locked, a uh, precautionary measure, Aunt B. Is that customary in stamp dealing? Uh, I don't deal in stamps. Stamps happens to be the password for this week. How did you get it, Aunt B? Don't you, Aunt B, me. A boy I dandle on my near Conroe Garden fence. The son of one of my oldest, closest. Yes, I often wondered about you and Dad. And I shall write to him about it. Hardly wise in the circumstances, is it? <laughs> what have you been up to, you naughty old dame? Open this door at once. Well, well. Congratulations. Very nice, too. I say I shall have to tell you everything. Yes. Yes, you must. Tell me everything. Take your time. Well, you see, a friend of mine has gambling debts, and she's terrified lest her husband should find out. Now, this coat was originally smuggled in from Italy, so, of course, it's difficult to sell. I don't believe it. Well, I know it sounds incredible, but what have you got there? Daring robbery, confidence tricksters, hoax faria. That has nothing to do with me. Come off it, Auntie. I'd recognize that fur from this description. Well, since I've got myself into this embarrassing situation, perhaps we'd better proceed. How much? Five hundred. Oh, ridiculous. That coat's selling for three thousand five hundred. I shall take my custom elsewhere. Right here. Want some addresses? And I'll lay you ten to one in five as no one offers you more than four. But don't you make special terms for regular clients? You mean... I intend to keep up my donations to charity by hook or by crook. All right, a 10% bonus. Done. One, two, three, four, five hundred and fifty nicker. One, 